Good you all. Good you all, ready? Oh, cool. NBA Youngboy has built a well-respected name in the rap community. For the last couple years, he's consistently been one of the most watched and streamed artists there is. In the past, fans and even other rappers have tried to question Youngboy's street credibility. Because he blew up at such a young age and he's been a mainstream rapper now for years, it's hard for some to believe the lyrics he raps about. Right now, he's been assigned house arrest in Utah for crimes he committed back in 2020. This means all he really has to entertain himself is drop music. Which brings us to his newest mixtape, Colors. On the song, Bring the Hook, Youngboy decided to lay it all on the track, leaving some disrespectful words for the late King Vaughn, but also his entire neighborhood of Oblon. Although Vaughn is no longer with us to defend himself, this was a bold move on Youngboy's part. King Vaughn is still a name that's highly respected not only by his neighborhood of Oblon, but also his friends and other mainstream artists who didn't take a liking to the disrespect. But the issues that started this beef go all the way back to 2019. King Vaughn made comments about Youngboy on Instagram Live, stating he's not really about that life and his songs are cap. You talking crazy on this man. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. Oh! On his ass, man. On his ass. All that cap. You got cap in your rap. Maybe a Youngboy fans demanded an apology from Vaughn. But Vaughn simply replied he would only beef with another rapper if they were from 63rd, essentially making a joke that he would only beef with another Chicago gang. Fans took this as his way of saying there was no real issue, they left it to rest. Youngboy never publicly responded to this, but it's assumed he was aware of what was said that day. For over a year, nothing was mentioned of this again, until the two started going back and forth in the summer of 2020. This time, it started over a female. Photos of King Vaughn and NBA Youngboy's ex-girlfriend surfaced online. Initially, this wasn't a huge deal. Either Youngboy or Vaughn reacted to the situation. But after the media got a hold of the photos and covered the story, it started tension between the two artists once again. Other Chicago rappers like 600 Breezy then made Instagram posts that appeared to be mocking Youngboy and insinuating that King Vaughn slept with his ex. One thing about NBA Youngboy, he doesn't usually react to the comments made about him the first time. But after he feels provoked to respond, he doesn't hold back. This started a whole back and forth between Vaughn and Youngboy, but also members of their crews as well. 600 Breezy and other Chicago rappers backed up Vaughn, and Quando Rondo stepped in to back up Youngboy. Lil Tim and Quando even tweeted at Chicago rappers to chill before this went too far. Things then got petty. Youngboy announced he was doing a song with King Vaughn's ex as well to even the playing field. Vaughn subtweeted back, but when asked about this on multiple occasions, both sides stated there was no beef. People told me you and Youngboy was beefing or something like that. You said something saying about that a lot. What happened? Vaughn, what's going on with you, man? <laughs> they be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same interests and holes. And then you know how the internet will try to make it. You Don't tell me I got problems over girls. No, it's the internet, gang. It's the, it's the you know? They try to make it like that because it's the internet, you see what I'm saying? At the time, both Vaughn and Youngboy were under investigation for different cases, so it's easy to understand this response. It was clear both sides had chips on their shoulders though. As we know, these events would eventually lead up to King Vaughn's passing on November 6, 2020, outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta. Lil Tim, an associate to Quano Rondo, was named the man who pulled the trigger and ended Vaughn's life. Although neither Youngboy or his camp was directly involved in his death, Quano was Youngboy's artist. Vaughn had approached Quando that night about comments he made toward his camp when he stepped in the beef to back up NBA Youngboy months before. This, of course, was really only the beginning of a new issue that involved even more people. As we know, Vaughn was close friends with Lil Durk, and after his death, the beef was then passed on to Durk as well. Despite Lil Durk working with both Youngboy and Quando Rondo in the past, he now had to stand behind Vaughn's words. These events would also create a huge divide in the industry, not only for other artists, but fans as well. People of course felt like they needed to pick a side. A lot of other artists didn't want to collab with Youngboy after this, because then they would be cutting ties with Lil Durk, so many chose to just not work with him anymore. In an interview with DJ Academics, 21 Savage explained this well. You got him and um, Quando. And a lot of niggas fuck with dirt. So a lot of niggas ain't gonna fuck with young boy shit because they fuck with dirt. You don't really gotta pick sides, but it's like some niggas, I don't know. 
you gotta have you gotta be a certain type of artist to be able to just be in the middle. I feel like in my first song since I've been on it. I still feel fake love. I this made NBA Youngboy feel blackballed from the industry, and he started to only work with those very close to him. From this moment on, there's been tension building on both Lil Durk and Youngboy's side. Many believe Lil Durk took shots at Youngboy in his verse on the song Still Running, Meek Mill and Lil Baby. But Youngboy would then spend some time behind bars, and he never publicly responded to anything that was going on at the time. Fans, of course, instigated the issues, though, questioning Durk when he was going to get revenge for Vaughn. This would go on until present day. It's unclear what made Youngboy finally decide to speak on the situation almost a year later, but the lyrics from Bring the Hulk speak for themselves, clearly directed at King Vaughn and Old Vaughn. This would initiate a response from Chicago's Lil Reese as well as many others. Even after receiving backlash from a lot of the community, Youngboy still had more to say and he didn't back down from his words. He released another song, No Like I Know. This time, the lyrics were directly aimed at Lil Durk himself. Dirk then posted a photo on Instagram sitting next to a photo of King Vaughn. His caption read, Don't claim it if you ain't do it, saying that Youngboy had no right to speak on Vaughn's death since he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. Youngboy of course responded with a photo of his own, laid out on the floor with the words you all gonna die written in $100 bills, to which Dirk told him to hurry up with another caption using a play on words for Youngboy's mixtape colors. Although these back and forth posts have been going viral in the rap community, many don't believe there is actually anything to worry about. At least for right now. Youngboy is on house arrest in Utah with his court case still pending. And as part of that agreement, he has living security and law enforcement on the property. On the other end, Oblock was seen burning green flags, which is associated with Youngboy's 4K trade game. Despite the being states apart, it's not to say that this issue won't escalate even more when Youngboy is able to leave his home and do shows again. And just because Youngboy is unreachable at this time, it doesn't mean that others associated with Oblock and 4K Trey are safe either now, because this involves more than just two rappers going back and forth. It's unlikely this beef will be resolved anytime soon due to blood being shed already, but there have been rumors of higher ups in the music industry working to have them resolve this.